Bonjour, mesdames and mademoiselles. And monsieur. Today we're going to do Coco Van. Never made it before, but it sounded kind of cool. So this is six cloves of garlic that I'm giving a quick smash to. Because when you smash it, look at that peeling. It comes right off. So nice to smash. Cut off that woodsy end, and then we can get to chopping. So six cloves of garlic. I will include the recipe down below. In case you were wondering anyway so once we get our cloves of garlic in there we're going to move on to the next thing and that's the onion i like to get my mise en plots done in advance all mise en plots is is making sure you have all your ingredients already prepared and ready to go so that just like on food network you can just throw things together and you haven't forgotten anything so once i think i've got everything i double check my recipe just to make sure when you do your mise en plots in advance, cooking is so much freaking easier. So I'm going to dice up this onion. And it can be a large dice because this is going to cook for quite a bit. So they really just melt away. There are going to be a few chunks left, but not many. So we're going to throw these babies in a bowl and set them to the side while we get our next ingredient out. This one is the first international part of our recipe. Pancetta. Now... The only way to get this is at a deli or in the deli section of your supermarket where you want to get it sliced thicker. You can buy pre-sliced pancetta, but it's really super thin and you really can't cut it into lardones, which is what you want to do here. So I'm just cubing this pancetta and then we're going to throw it into my favorite pan, which is perfect for cocoa thin. Here's my favorite pan. There's a link below if you want to check it out. I found a cheaper version, same quality, less expensive. Um, in the comments below, there's a, a link to it. Check it out. Anyways, I'm putting in two tablespoons of olive oil in my pancetta. And we're going to let that cook and render down. Meanwhile, our chicken. Now, Coco Van means rooster cooked in wine, loosely translated from French to English. So here is uh, chicken breast, bone in as a must and necessity. You can also use chicken quarters or chicken legs. Chicken breast is what I've chosen today. And we're gonna salt and pepper the tops of these. Salt them liber liberally because there's not a lot of salt in this recipe. French cooking is full of subtle flavors, which is really interesting and good. So you can see our pancetta here is starting to cook, but it's not quite done yet. You want it to get crispy like bacon, like this, for instance. So now I'm gonna remove this with a slotted spoon onto a paper towel plate and let that sit to the side. As I was saying, French cooking is subtle flavors, not the big pow in your face, like say Mexican food or Italian food. Um, but French cooking is really, really good. And it's a different style and it's super easy. So with Jimmy Dix International Eats, we encourage you to explore your horizons and try things from a different country, try things that you've never had before. And Coco Vin is one of those things, if you have picky eaters, but they like chicken, would really, really enjoy this. So if you're looking to try something new, branch out a little bit, so consider subscribing to this channel. We have stuff from all over the world. Trust me on that. It's a good one. So I'm putting my chicken in here and I'm putting it in skin side down because we want to get that really golden and crispy. Once I get it all in here, I'm going to re-season the, the bottom side with salt and pepper. Again, be liberal because this will be the entire amount of salt you use in this whole dish is right now. So there's a little salt and a little pepper. And we're going to let this cook 8 to 10 minutes, maybe longer. It depends on your stove and your pan and your cooktop and all that other good stuff. You just want it golden brown. That's the main thing. So it's been about 10 minutes. And I'm going to flip this chicken over. And mm -mm -mm, look at that good color. Yum city. So because we cooked it skin side down, it rendered a lot of that fat out and fat equals flavor. So now in addition to the olive oil and the salt and pepper, we have the pancetta renderings and we also have the renderings from this chicken. Mm. So we're gonna cook this for about three to five minutes. 
After that, we're going to remove it and put it on the plate. And we're just going to set it to the side and hang out. And it can watch us prepare the rest of this cocoa van. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Once we get all this chicken out, we're going to add the first of our ingredients that we did during our mise en place earlier. Don't forget, mise en place is super important. And what is that first ingredient, Jimmy Dick? Onion. That's right. Dump all that onion in there. And then we're going to give it just a quick stir. And then we're going to add in our six cloves of chopped garlic that we smashed and then chopped. So as I'm stirring this around, it's for two reasons. One, just to get everything incorporated in that flavor for oil, flavorful oil. Thank you. And two, we're going to scrape off those brown bits on the bottom. Do you see the brown stuff on the bottom of our white pan? That is called fond. And fond equals flavor. So we're going to try and scrape all that off. And we're going to add our carrots. This is about a cup and a half of baby carrots. Now, every time we add something to this pan, I'm going to give it a quick stir. And that allows everything to get incorporated. Plus, it gives me an opportunity to scrape any more fond that I see at the bottom. Bam, just like that. Get up in there, flavor. It's all going to come together as one cohesive, just flavor bomb. Next, a half a pound of sliced mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms you like. Um, you can use white button, but today I'm using baby bella, as in portabella mushrooms. I just think they're really good and full of flavor. Then we're going to put that crispy pancetta back into the pan. And once again, give it a good stir. Because right after I get this mixed together, we're going to add some fun. This, this is uh, the quintessential ingredient in Coco Van and a lot of French cooking. It's called wine. You're going to add a half a bottle of any dry red wine that you would like. And the drier the better. So just make sure it's a half a bottle. Once you get a half a bottle in there, we're going to add one cup of chicken stock. Boom. There it is. We're going to stir this around nicely until it's all mixed together good. My heat is still on the cooktop here. So it's, it's just all getting ready to get hot and bothered. Once we get this mixed together, we're going to put our chicken back in. And then we're going to cover it. And we're going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. Covered. Can't stress that enough. <sighs> Are you getting hungry yet? Wee oui, wee. Oui. You think Coco Van is something that you would like? If you've ever had Coco Van and this recipe differs from the type you've had, please let me know in the comments. I'm curious. So I also add all the little drippings off of the plate. So like I said, we'll put the lid on this. We'll see you in 45 minutes. You can jump in that oven and take you an oven nap. Oh, I forgot about this. Fresh thyme. So in my garden in the back, I have thyme growing. And I cut off a bunch of sprigs, and I'm going to lay it around. Fresh, fresh thyme. Oh, man. It is so good and needed. All right. Nap time for the cocoa van. See you in 45. Meanwhile, we're going to make something that the French call... I don't know what it is because I don't speak French and I don't want to butcher the language by trying to even think I can read it or pronounce it. Basically, it's a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of flour. And you're going to mix it together until it forms into a paste. Now, this is one inherent thing that's different than American cooking where we do a roux with water and flour or raw water and cornstarch. Of course, it's French, so they use butter. So butter and flour mixed together. So 45 minutes later, we're going to take the cocoa van out of the oven. It's been in there. The house smells wonderful. And we're going to take the lid off and show you. Wait, first off, i got to show you this. Sorry. You turn the burner on medium. Put it back on and then take the lid off. Well, bam look at that sacre bleu. Next, we're going to add our paste of flour and butter. And that's going to be a thickener. That's going to thicken up all of that wonderful purpley wine sauce. And if you're concerned about cooking with wine, rest assured, please, that all of the alcohol 
has been cooked out of it. It just leaves behind the great wine flavor that is necessary for cocoa vin. So I'm going to stir this in, let the butter melt, and I'm going to stir it around until it's about ready to plate. So now that we're thickened up, we're going to go to the table. I apologize for the darkness. I don't know what happened here. It's directly under the table lights. But look at that piece of chicken. Mm -mm -mm. And we're going to put our veggies on there. And then we're going to dump it off with some sauce on top. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, how about a thumbs up? And like I was saying, if you want to explore international cuisine, consider subscribing to my channel. And we're going to leave you here as I drizzle the cocoa van sauce over my chicken with a final photo of the end product. I'm super proud of it. Never had it before. Everyone that came over, my in-laws, my wife, that we all loved it. It was super, super good. Mm, doesn't that look tasty? Hey, have a great day, everybody. Merci beaucoup.